on Trader's Business News. The World Bank says growth returning to sub-Saharan Africa over the next couple of years. Uh, for more details, Africa 54 business correspondent Jill Malandrino reports from the NASDAQ market site in New York. The World Bank issued a report this week and it expects economic growth in sub-Saharan Africa to rise between 2017 and 2019. The bank said in its latest Africa's Pulse report, economic growth is expected to expand to 2.6% this year, although that's down from 2.9% in an earlier report, but further to 3.2% in 2018 and it goes up to 3.5% a year later. Now, sub-Saharan African growth was an estimated 1.3% in 2016. The World Bank said that the worst for the region in more than two decades was really hurt by poor performance performance in Nigeria, South Africa, and Angola. This was largely due to external developments, low commodity prices, and difficult domestic conditions. For example, Nigeria actually contracted 1.5% due to tight liquidity and CBM policy, delays in the budget, and militant attacks on oil pipelines. Now, excluding those three countries, growth in the region was estimated to be 4.1% in 2016. Coup d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Kenya, Mali, Rwanda, Senegal, and Tanzania, they were all highlighted for continuing to show economic resilience. So, why does the World Bank see an uptick in economic growth a few years out? An upturn in economic activity is expected to continue 2018-19, reflecting improvements in commodity prices and a pickup in global growth and more supportive domestic conditions should support economic expansion in sub-Saharan Africa. That said, even though the region is showing signs of slow recovery, growth is only expected to rise slightly above population growth. Albert Zufak, he's the World Bank's chief economist for Africa, said, as countries move towards fiscal adjustment, we need to protect the right conditions for investment so that sub-Saharan African countries achieve a more robust recovery. From the Nasdaq market site in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino, and this is Africa 54 Business News.